talking about the 90s, right? Yeah. And, and my boy from Bompton was speaking on it too. He murdered was speaking on it too. I want, I want all three of y'all to answer the question. So uh, we know like in the 90s, it wouldn't have been no Instagram. It wouldn't have been no Facebook. It wouldn't have been no Clubhouse. It wouldn't have been no Twitter, right? We understand a lot of shit wouldn't have been recorded. But, but now I'm juggling and a lot of real niggas is juggling like, you know what? At some point, we got to fight fire with fire. You know what I'm saying? How, how y'all feel about that? Like, a lot of real niggas don't want to get on social media, but a lot of real niggas like, you know, I got to get on there because it's a lot of fake bullshit going on there, so I'm going to get on there and speak the real without incriminating myself, homies, or, you know, you putting too much business out there, though, but a lot of niggas is feeling like we got to fight fire with fire. Hey, listen, LS, I'm glad you said that. I didn't know where you was going with it, right? Um... You 100% right. A lot of these niggas, and then you got to think it's geographical. They don't even know what snitching is. You could, We could be on here right now and talk about me and you had a fight in the hood, and these niggas be like, oh, the feds is watching on Clubhouse. These <laughs> become criminals. They're snitching on themselves. Like, snitching on ourselves. My nigga, I went to jail for a bank robbery. That's public record. Me giving that information to the public makes me a snitch. They fucked up mentally. So that's where that come in. You get a lot of that shit, especially those that's misled and, and without guidance uh, in, in different states, bro. You know what I'm saying? They be so lost and spun uh, because they get mis misused and manipulated by these old slick-ass jail niggas. You know what I'm saying? who tell these niggas all kind of far-fetched ass shit. So, but yeah, bro, I, I think that uh, that's to each each man who uh, who, who feel like, you know what? Um, now, if you pushing that narrative, like, I think that we should be recruiting homies to this and, 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 and going out here and going to go shoot at Crips or if they Crips go shoot at Bloods. And if that's what you coming on here to promote, then you don't need to be on here because... That's going to have, have your ass indicted. You know what I'm saying? And in that jail, part, which is what we're trying part. to prevent. Now, yeah. when we be on here, like, I just changed my name to Duke Sims on here this week. My name was Lamonte. I didn't come on here until niggas did background checks on me. And, like, that nigga really from Rims? Like, you know <laughs> what I'm saying? So then I'm, okay, well, fuck it, nigga. Y'all know I'm Duke Sims already. It's been out there. We might as well do it because that's also my rap name. You feel me? I'm on here on my business shit, not as an artist, but fuck it. Since y'all keep calling me do sales, we gonna change it to that. But even getting on here, nigga didn't get on here on no extra gangsta ass shit. I get on here talking about positivity. What can we do putting up myself in these youngster shoes today? They up against it. You know what I'm saying? These niggas, you, you talking about gang banging in 2022, my nigga. That was really Buck Rogers. When I was growing up, niggas said 2020s was Buck Roger Day. You know what I'm saying? So, nigga, that, that's a reality now. Niggas, cameras everywhere. So, as yeah, a fine. general, that's you, that's yeah, fine. as a general, you always put your troops in a position to win, not lose. So, if that's they fine. come in on, on social media with a positive narrative, talk about economic independence, focusing on this. Now, mind you, if a nigga threaten you in your life, listen. Do what you got to do. Survival of the fittest, right? You know what I'm saying? If it comes into survival, you protect you and your family by any means necessary. Absolutely. I believe we all should have that right. But That's as far right. as if you coming on here to talk about, a hey, year yeah, blood, y'all niggas need to go bust on the six toes. I don't like Big U and all of this weird shit. And my nigga... You don't need to be on social media because that's not even a proper representation <laughs> of, of our red flag. You know what I'm saying? I, I, I like, agree 100 percent, man. And that's why I be telling everybody, like I'm like real niggas is on social media, right? We know niggas didn't do it back in the day, but again, like I said, we got to fight fire with fire and, and, and push that narrative. Like you know what I'm saying? Even when y'all had the room about G Perico, right? Like I met the dude, he a good dude, right? Rapper nigga out of Broadway, and uh, in the room you was talking about when um. He had, on Vlad TV, he had talked about um, when he ran into the different lanes as a kid. One time he told him he didn't bang. One time he told him he was from Broadway. And no, had, he told him he was from Bonnie Hunters. Oh, yeah, my bad, my bad, excuse me. Oh, yeah, Bonnie Hunters. 
So, but the room wasn't to bash him. It was like trying to put the narrative out there, let these kids know, like, this shit ain't straight. This shit ain't safe, my nigga. Like, that nigga G. Perigo was 14 years old. If he would have told them Denver Lane niggas he was from Broadway, he'd have been dead. You know what I mean? It would it would have been no G. Perico. You feel me? That's right. Hard. But 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 LS and I'm gonna keep it G. This in the nineties, off the top, the homies would have been I would have been pressing like blood Z. Right, blood, right, you right, finna right. go back, we finna go. Nigga, we ain't got the nigga that's a black eye on the hood, nigga, we ain't got we ain't raising no busters. Mm-hmm. Like, nigga, you gotta go do this. Today, I'll be like, I'ma be that nigga. Whatever it takes for me to do to get away with my life, I'ma be that smart nigga. But when you out there active gangbanging, patrolling your set on the handlebars with the come on, man. Nigga, and then you get caught in the in the in the lanes, then your one of your worst enemies set. You know what I'm saying? Cause he from the eleven dudes Broadway. One of your worst enemies says, you get caught over there, slipping, coming from Washington High School, you say you don't bang, then you get caught in again, and you tell them niggas you from Hunter, right? right? right. So, like, bro, you making a career of getting caught slipping without your burner in your enemy's hood. Right. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? Like, nigga, the homies wasn't, wasn't man, I could name you. <laughs> niggas my age right now, I, we done pressing DP, all that type of shit, bro. And I, and I think, I think too. I don't know if it's a. I, I mean, I'm I'm pretty sure the Keyways had the same type of program. But I remember back in the day, right, when he was flamed up. You had, especially if you had a red flag, you had the Chucks, red laces. If you had no burner, the homies might want to fade. They might want to DP you. Like, bro, you over yeah. slipping, my nigga. You got too much red on. Like, you ain't got no gun on you, nigga. You tripping? Well, nah, we used to. Why well, we used to do it out here was we used to have the next tail phones. Niggas running to a homie. He screaming the hood, nigga, like, yo, what? Hold on, wait a minute. Chirping, nigga, yo, son, you know such and such? He's son. Well, like, like the homie, like the, the homie, uh, like the homie sad say and shit. Deep peer, nigga. How you yeah. trooping with no pole? Right, right. That's how, that's how we be doing niggas out like, Us Just trying to, like, keep the homie alive, like, you know what I'm saying? That like, part, that part. You see a nigga on the bus stop or something, what? he flamed up. You gonna pull over, get in the car, nigga, you tripping. Nigga walk to like, the store nigga, or something, you, he cleaned no, up. You think this shit play play? This shit ain't play play. You be, this is niggas serious, be wanna what? niggas oh. be wanna underestimate they enemies and think all oh, them niggas busters and all that because you know both sides got propaganda. Oh yeah, yeah. the crip niggas is busters. All oh, them niggas and then you got the all oh, them odd niggas is straight. You know what I'm saying? So that that with that propaganda, you got young niggas who don't know no better about surviving, they ain't been through them wars. And I'm going to give you a story. Story, uh, LS. You, you got to be a real uh, hey, hey, And we streaming on YouTube. Uh, well, you can, you can give it to me because we didn't do nothing. We, we, we was victims on that, right? So uh, it was Hollow, the day night after Halloween. We, me oh. and Brembo, VIP. Oh, yeah, I know this story. Okay. Right? We go to uh, Knock Scary for him because the history of, Halloween in the brims in the third, you know what I'm saying? That that's the night I don't come out, bro. Yeah. Like it's a, a back and forth thing, you know what I'm saying? Historically for decades. So me and Brimbo had passed on the lick. We, me, my girl from six o, him and uh Candia, we all go to knock scary form and shit. That night, the ops came through try to do the homies, and nigga, one of the niggas got murked, right? So. Niggas like, oh, I gotta go to the hood and get my shit, my burner in the hood. I let the little homie baby candy man hold. It. You feel me? Cause he was in the hood and going to go fuck with some uh bras out in Hawthorne or some shit. But I'm like, huh, take the burner. Like, you know, though you don't want the homie slipping out there, you know? So, um, I'm going to to the block once niggas call me at like four in the morning, like, man, the police over there, somebody got killed. I'm like, man, let me go get my shit. And that's right on the block, too. I'm going to go get my shit. This nigga done went to jail with my burner the night before. Booger there, right? Uh, Bina just pulled up. And I'm like, blood, y'all need, oh, and JK, Jacob Pong. So Booger and Jacob Pong laughing about some nasty shit they did with some some female ratchet in the projects and the niggas, right? They did. And I'm like, blood, y'all niggas think this from play play. Nigga, my burner ain't in here, Booger. Y'all niggas go over there and go get the burner. These niggas still laughing and all that. Not knowing 
nigga, niggas already come back. This happened at, at midnight or one o'clock or like late at night. And now here come, the homicide detective just left. And now nigga, a couple hours left, not even two, three hours. I'm there at seven o'clock in the morning. Nigga, them niggas come right up off that. Come right up. The homies talking about some ratchet, bro. Focus on that and it's wartime. I'm like, you stupid ass niggas, get in the car, nigga. Go get the what you call it in the uh, on the beat. Nigga, I look, a MC coming around a car that had his hazards on in the middle of the drive. Nigga, uh, MC come around. I'm looking, the nigga already out the window by the time they come from behind the thing. And he, oh, thank God, this is the less I ever got busted that by them. Them niggas always come with choppers and shit. Nigga, if six shot, they had a six shooter. So, boom, boom, I just dropped. You know what I'm saying? I couldn't do nothing. Nigga already out, aiming at me. Boom, 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 boom. And the car turned off real quick, and they get up out of there. You feel me? Think I jump up. Book it like, Monty, you okay? I'm like, glad I told your stupid ass. Nigga, you niggas think this shit a fucking game. Niggas gonna come back. They immediate retaliation. So, yeah, we didn't do nothing. So that, you know, ain't nobody other names getting indicted or no other shit like that. So that's not snitching for you on YouTube. You know what I'm saying? But we was victims. And, and that, what you call it, could have been real victims. That part. You know that part. That part. Nigga, them niggas came. Because I know you're going to be in my really comments. Good. Like, y'all put too much business out there. They be in my comments going crazy. Now, he was talking about growing up and surviving in South Central, man. Surviving the things right. that he was talking about. So, for all y'all say, oh, y'all putting too much out there. Put Find somebody who's going to go to jail in that story for doing a crime. Yeah, exactly. You niggas is weirdo. They don't know the fucking game. But anyway, or they just don't want to believe that motherfuckers had in them with something that they can't find in themselves. Right. You know what I'm saying? That's what it be. That's what it be. Yeah, a lot of my That's what it be. Oh, Brandon, that's what it be. Hey, so Cali, Cali or D murder. When y'all, how y'all feel about like what I was saying? Like, far as uh the real niggas on social media, like you feel like we 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 gotta fight fire with fire, like or we supposed to just like fire with fire, like fire. You mean like arguing with them niggas? No, or no, just, no, like, not like that. Not showing, like that. Showing, showing the niggas like ha 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 ha. How you should? What, what, what I'm saying is social should. media. Is, no, what I'm saying is social media is here, right? Yeah, so yeah. If it ain't no real niggas on here, the world ain't gonna hear us. They ain't gonna see us in the ghetto. So I'm saying, fight basically, fire with basically fire, like, like we here to be an example. Basically, like right, like, right. Because a, a lot yeah, of yeah, yeah, shit yeah, on yeah, the yeah, internet okay, yeah, yeah, is yeah, representing okay, us yeah. wrong. So we need real niggas on social media, like real shit. And I ain't saying criminate. Uh, yeah, go, go to jail, yeah, poke yeah. no guns, talk about them. No yeah, yeah. But we need real niggas on here to. Set the record straight, my nigga. That part, that because, part, yeah. I, I, I feel, I feel this bull, like especially, you know, especially if the, you know, the real ones ain't starting to conduct themselves like, you know, you know these weird ass niggas out here and shit. You know, it's a lot of them on here and shit. You no, know, and I see a, you know, a, a lot of them start to convert and shit and be with the weird shit and shit. All that. Arguing, you know how every time I get in the room with y'all, I don't hear no arguing. Motherfuckers barely talking over motherfuckers and shit. You know, you hear a lot of that off in them other no, rooms. It's and still shit, real dumb love. We ain't gonna do that in here, man. You know, this man don't know you from Idaho. He dissing, dissing dead homie, all that weird shit. We niggas ain't into that, but niggas ain't into all that. Mm -hmm. You know what I'm saying? I'll be feeling like I ain't gonna lie, niggas that be be on that type of shit, but. They really be on some cloud chasing shit, bro. Like trying to get a name off somebody or trying to trying to build build some fan. Like, oh, I told him off for type shit, or I, I, you know what I'm saying? You know how those niggas do. Oh, you know that shit weird. That weird shit they do. I, I, I feel this bull if we conducting ourselves and showing these motherfuckers how. And, how and really like they say, like done. they say, man, when when do the real niggas come in second? Like you feel what I'm saying? There's too much industry niggas. They got all these followers and all this. Now it was like the real niggas coming in second. Like, no, nah, nigga, we supposed to come in first, nigga. What the fuck? Nah, it, 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 go, it, go, it go with the real niggas coming in second because you got all these YouTube bloggers. You got niggas thinking in rooms, listening to niggas' politics on, 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 on some real 
positive blood shit or whatever. Moralist motherfuckers. There's a lot of these and motherfuckers. Niggas, and and then niggas morals. take that information like, and then uh, niggas put it on their YouTube blog or whatever. Like, yeah, yeah. Yo, niggas in the room talking about this, that, and the third. And then, you know, it's, oh, this one snitching on. Come on, like, niggas do too much. Like, they they, 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 let, the, they let the niggas that ain't about nothing come in first and the niggas that's really about that action, you know. They, 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 they coming in last. That's what's up, what's up. Let me get a uh, female point of view. Ms. Brim, can you tap in with us and give us some, as a homegirl perspective, how you feel about it, the social media shit? I mean, I don't know. Like, honestly, a lot of that shit, when it come down to, oh, you snitching, or, you know what I'm saying? Everybody be thinking that, when you trying to give advice or something like that, like, they don't want to hear it. A lot of times they be coming up on that East Coast, West Coast shit. Like, you know what I'm saying? So, I mean, the real niggas, the real niggas always rise, though. They always rise because the other niggas, they don't be wanting to hear shit. They don't want to hear shit. You can't tell them nothing. They know everything. A real nigga know when to shut up, listen, and grow. Fact, fact. And two. I'm glad you made that point because it's like, even on Clubhouse, right, when when it, it be heated debates, heated arguments, whatever you want to call this shit, it turns to some East versus West shit. Why is that? I don't I don't get that shit. Like, you know what I'm saying? Like, I'm from L.A. for sure. I'm a real West Side nigga, man, born and raised in South Central, but I'm a blood first. I'm a brim first. Like, you know what I'm saying? Like, I ain't on no East and West shit. Like, I'm a blood. Like, you know what I'm saying? Like, real shit, real talk. Like. A lot of that stem from uh, niggas here, niggas talking that bag. Like, niggas will sit on a nigga name, and as soon as certain nigga come in the room, it's, oh, yo, fuck out of here. Yo, you disrespecting the big homie. Yo, hold on. Y'all niggas was just talking about the nigga filthy five minutes ago. As soon as he come in the room, and he start talking money, now everybody, yeah, 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 that's the big bro. That's the big bro. Like, <laughs> yeah, but, but what I'm saying is, like, at the end of the day, like, like, hey, Murder, tell him, what city you in? I'm in, I'm in, I'm in Brooklyn. You in Brooklyn, right? But you bang yeah. Brim, right? Uh-huh. You bang Brim, right? All day. All day. So I'm from you heard? I'm from, right, FHN. I'm from L.A. I bang Brim. FHN so, all day. So, you see so what, what I'm the, saying is, that if say? you had an issue with a nigga from L.A., I ain't going to turn on you and be on some, some West Coast shit. Nah, nigga, you a Brim. Nigga, that shit come first. You feel me? I ain't going to turn it That part. Like, I don't, that, that part, I don't understand that part. I feel like a lot of motherfuckers be from their city or they stay first. Like, I'm a brim first. Like, nigga. Yeah, exactly. Free top first. Don't bother to me. Yeah, as you should. You supposed don't to be from the hood first. Like, nigga, I love my hood. Nigga, yeah, I'm from LA. Yeah, I love the West Side. I wouldn't, you know what I mean? But I'm a brim, though, bro. Like, I'm a, like, for real. Like, I'm from that, nigga. That's where I'm from. Like, like I would never switch on none of my niggas, bro. None of my real right niggas. I don't give a fuck. You in Charlotte, nigga. You in. Wherever you at, nigga, you from Brim? That part, I that you. part. If a nigga from L.A. wrong, I'm going to let that nigga know. Like, bro, you wrong, my nigga. We ain't doing no state banking. There ain't no state banker, nigga. I don't, I don't claim California, nigga. Brim, nigga, I claim L.A. Brim Fruit Town. You know what I'm saying? F.A.T. That part. So that overrides all that. You know what I'm saying? Bang crew Harvard Nets all day, man. If it ain't F.H.N., then it ain't nothing. You know what I'm saying? And the niggas bring bang brim regardless. You a brim, you a brim. Nobody should never come in between that. You know what you signed up for when you took that brim card. That's what I'm saying, man. Yeah, yeah. I'm, hey, D Murder, I got a question though. What's up? Like, um, you know, like the New York niggas, like um, um Billy, the two five two, like, do they feel as though like you a traitor type shit? Like, you know what I'm saying? Like you have to chin and shit. But do they feel the type of way towards you sometimes? Like, if they get into heated um, conversations with you? Um, I mean, I had, I had a couple of incidents with some Billy niggas, you know, because some of my family members, they are Billy, you know. And, um, I mean, it wasn't really nothing too heavy. It was just on some, like, yo, how you bringing over a West Coast set? Why you banging a West Coast set if you live over on the East? I'm like, man, me and my sister went out to Cali, we got that banner, you know what I'm saying? We met with the with the with the big bros. They explained what we had had to do to to push forward with the movement, and 
we've been doing it. You know what I'm saying? Like, me and my sister, like, my sister is the queen of VNG, and you know what I'm saying? I am what I am for VNG. And it's a lot of, my sister basically gets a lot of the heat because they feel like she a female. She got the rank she got. And she never had to lay on her back for nothing. You know what I'm saying? Everything she did, she was in the, she was in the streets, putting in that pain. My, my, my sister five too. My sister bang out with the tallest nigga. She don't give a fuck. You know what I'm saying? She keep a triple five on or whatever. She do her thing. You know what I'm saying? So when people do say my sister's name, people know my sister's name is is is, is definitely known I'm from Jersey. You know what I'm saying? In Cali, you know all over. So. And then too with me, right? That shit like. I don't understand that part when, 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 uh, and, uh, it's no disrespect to the Billy, you know, I know a lot of reputables from Billy, from murder and all that, right? It's no disrespect to none of them sets, right? But when they say you ain't jacking a, a West Coast set, that shit, like, puzzled me. Like, I, I, I get lost because we understand blood started in L.A., right? Yeah, exactly. So, especially Brim. Brim overrides Crip and blood. You know what I'm saying? You go back in history, it's going to be, a L.A. Brim is going to be a, a Powell Street boy, right? That overseas Crip and Blood. We go back way, 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 way back. So when yeah. folks say you ain't ain't jacking a West Coast set, at the end of the day, if you a Crip or a Blood, nigga, you jacking a West Coast set. Yeah, but, but whatever but you want to call it. Like, out, I don't big get that part. Coming like, out that part here is and, like, and back huh? in the 80s and shit. Huh? I said big stretching numbers coming out here back in the days and shit. They was coming to the, to the Bronx and shit like that. Like it, it's it's people that it, it was it was a couple of brims that was coming out here back in the days and shit, a couple of fruits and shit. But but I, I get it. But what I'm saying, put yourself in the L.A. nigga shoes, right? Like say me, I've been from L.A., right? Mm -hmm. Say for instance, right? L.S. I'm claiming murder, right? Or or Billy, right? Again, no knock, mm -hmm. no disrespect, no this. I'm just saying, how they speaking? I'm I'm from South Central L.A., but I'm banging nine tray, right? But I'm in LA, so. But I'm telling niggas you can't jack no East Coast shit. But I'm a West Coast nigga claiming the East Coast gang. Like I, I don't that part. I don't get it. It don't make sense to me. Like, like especially the Brim niggas. Like how uh, how is they doing that? Like they claiming a Brim set, but you telling other niggas in New York how you jacking a West Coast set, but you claiming Brims. Come on, you already know stretch how that shit go down, man. You know, you know how this shit on the East Coast. You know how this shit was made up. You know the the the, <coughs> the solidics behind this whole movement. How it was made on the East Coast. You know what I'm saying? It was a lot of shit that was put on the table that was false information. So if you got it by false information, and then when rectable niggas come forward to bring you forth to the light, to to reinduce you to the shit. And then once you finally get the, the, the real food that you're supposed to get, now you lost. Except the who to the shit before. But now that people bringing you to the light, now they like, oh shit, bird, that's how it moved. You know what I mean? Like at, at one 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 time, the five nines wasn't wasn't jagging when we put the, the V and G movement over here. It wasn't jagging that shit. But then we had to let them know, like nigga, we used to be five nine. We used to be six deuce. You know what I'm saying? That 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 was that's from the West. You you can't never doubt that. So then, you know what I mean? Niggas started jumping on board like, oh, we're niggas connected to the West. Like, get us in there, get us plugged. Nah, y'all gotta make y'all own move. You know what I'm saying? But I think also like a lot of times, a lot of times I think people tend to forget. Like the homies tend to forget like what that shit really lead back to. You feel what I'm saying? Like yeah, like say if I was in New York. If I was in New York and I'm jacking the East Coast set, like, you know what I'm saying? Like, they paperwork still, that shit still go back out west. You know what I'm saying? So the disrespect that they be, like, on on social media, how they carry themselves, and they be giving, like, the West Coast homies, like, mad disrespect. Like, that shit is weird to me. Like, that is the most weirdest shit. Like, instead of them trying to learn some shit, like, they eat that shit up. You know what I'm saying? Like, they be wanting to beef with niggas, like... All oh, bitch, 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 like, come on. Like, that should be weird as fuck. That's, and, and you know, a cold part about it is, as L.A. nigga, right, I'm an L.A. nigga for sure, right? All we want is just give us our homage. My nigga gives us our due diligence that it started here. That's it. We ain't saying niggas ain't, ain't moving like us. We ain't saying niggas ain't got dead homies. I get it. 
state to state. Niggas done lost homies. Niggas that went to funerals had to bury their niggas, bury their loved ones. It's niggas that's behind the wall that's never come home in every state. Nigga ain't taking that from no state. All I'm saying is at the end of the day, as an L.A. nigga, give us our due diligence, bro. And understand where it started from. That's it. On the set, when I first met L.A., we was at um, the Bro Big's house and shit. Like, I'm just I'm just building with L.S. Like, I'm asking questions and shit. Like, you feel what I'm saying? I'm like, bro, like, niggas, when they meet you, like, they just got their camera out taking flicks. Like, they not even trying to hold conversations with you. Like, you know what I'm saying? Like, niggas don't even know. Like, when I first met L.S., that shit was real. Like, you feel what I'm saying? Because that was my first West Coast homie I ever met. Like, you feel what I'm saying? But... These niggas, they weird. They just, they don't understand. Like, that shit is, they want the lights. Like, <laughs> that shit is like, let me get all these lights on this picture type shit instead of trying to really, like, learn some shit. Yeah, and that's, and that's, and, and then too, Cold Park, that's not even the East Coast. That's LA too. It's just, that shit turned into now being a blood or being a crip or whoever. It's fashionable now. Like, you know what I'm saying? This shit fashionable. <laughs> it's shit crazy, but it is what it is. Yo, I was told by my big homie that blood is the most commercialized gang there is right now in the world because everybody want to be a blood. Like when I first moved to PA, I was coming out here in PA in fucking 9-7, 9-8. My mom moved out here, God bless the dead, before she passed. She moved out here in 2001. When I moved down here in 03, I'm like, yo, what the fuck? When I was out here, it was nobody blood. I came out here, 03, everybody and their mother was blood. I'm like, yo, what the fuck? Like, when we start doing this? Come to find out, it was niggas from all over coming out here, giving niggas bullshit, niggas running around with the shit, thinking that they was real right. But you know, in LA, and they eat that you know, shit up you know too. what? In LA, it's split, like right? out here in ATL, too. And I, I, I know M can speak on this a little bit more in LA. Especially in the nineties, it was it was flipped. It was opposite. It was like you flamed up red khakis, red chuck red laces. You was like, damn near like nigga you trying to commit suicide because every blood set was surrounded by like a thousand crips. You know what I'm saying? It wasn't like that. Like it was like it wasn't, my nigga. Just look back in the day, my nigga look at all the rappers. Everybody wanted to be like Snoop Dogg, Easy E. That part, Ice that part, that part, that part, crips, that part my speak nigga. on you. And and, and being a blood back in the day, it wasn't sexy. Like we did our shit, and and everybody couldn't be a blood. Like you couldn't, you couldn't be a blood back in the day. Like you couldn't. And mind you, I ain't trying to put ten on the two. Like I was in there ninety five, ninety two. I wasn't. You know what I'm saying? But I was a kid watching this shit. You know what I'm saying? That's for, that's for sure. I knew like a lot of niggas wouldn't have made it. Like L A back, a lot of niggas wouldn't have made it, bro. A lot of niggas wouldn't have made it, my nigga. That's a super fact. And then, too, being from L.A., like, we love the fact, like I, I said in plenty of interviews, we love the fact that our culture, our gang shit is spread worldwide. We love the fact. In return, all we asking is do it the right way. You feel me? Absolutely. That's Absolutely. all. In return, bro, just do it the right way. My nigga, because the same rules that you got to follow by, I got to follow by. It ain't no, you know what I'm saying, none of that. Like, you know what I mean? Y'all got to do something different. That We ain't doing it. Just follow the rules. If you chose to be a cripple or a blood, follow the rules. It's no structure. That's what it is. Why would you want to be a cripple everybody or a be, switching Everybody want to be the chief. Change it, right? If you don't like it, do something different. You know what I'm saying? That's like me claiming the East Coast gang, right, that's birthed on the East Coast by bringing it to L.A. and I put my whole L.A. twist to it. They're like, man, what the fuck? You know what I'm saying? Like, what the fuck? You tripping. Bro, you from L.A. Why is you taking our shit and turning and twisting it and flipping it and you know what I mean? To a point where it get disrespectful. Like, you know what I'm saying? That when we speak on it, they oh LA niggas, they don't understand or they disrespectful. No, it's like my nigga, y'all took our shit and ran with it and twisted it, turned it and flipped it. But we wrong if we speak on it, you know what I'm saying? I don't get that part. I really don't. I hear that. It seemed like it seemed like, I don't know, it just seemed like New York don't like take listening or or feel like they 
get get uh, authority over. You know what I'm saying? Like I don't know. It just they. I don't know. New York got that weird. Always had that weird rebellious. You know. You know, you know what I'm saying? Right, right, and again, it's no, it's no, it's no, it's no diss to New York, man. You no, know? no, I'm not trying to, no, right, I'm not right, trying to diss, this. no, 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 I, I mean, hell I, no, One thing I learned, no. New York niggas is hella, like, prideful. Rebellious, hella, nigga, they hell, they rebellious. They hella arrogant and hella prideful. Yeah. And, and that's smooth, like, you know what I'm saying, I'm like that shit too, but at, at some point, man, the history is history, my nigga, we, we all understand, my nigga, we was bloods in the 70s, my nigga, they hit New York to the 90s, we was only doing yeah. shit for 20 years. I, I remember it was a time. I remember it was a time when New York was looking at gang bang like y'all gang bang y'all fight over cuff that shit stupid. Talk I about remember. it, man. Talk about it. Hello. I remember. Come on. Remember. Everybody talked about LA about that shit, nigga. I know y'all was a kid, nigga. Oh y'all Jerry girls. Y'all wearing khaki yeah, shirts. Y'all ain't yeah, getting y'all no stupid. money. Y'all want to love you got foreign. Talk about it, nigga. Now the whole that world. Part. I talk remember about that. it, man. Talk I'm about it. I remember that. Yeah, niggas talked about it. We bragging with all the homies, though. Whoops, For a million years, niggas, niggas, niggas talked about it, niggas. Oh, y'all, y'all, niggas, y'all stupid. Y'all killing over red and blue. Y'all this, what? y'all that. Y'all Jerry Crow niggas. Y'all khakis and chuck. Y'all the whole country, world's fucking country. doing it, nigga. Nah, nah. I'm going to tell you when New York got turned on after that. New York got turned on once niggas started seeing colors and seeing different gang movies about L.A. Niggas was like, oh, know what I mean? Then it, it, it just became a trend. I don't know because a, a lot of dudes that I met in the feds, like that was from New York, told me that when they seen boys in the hood and South Central and they just thought that was Hollywood shit. Like when niggas think of LA, they think Hollywood. So that they, part. They, they didn't understand South Central, Wise Compton and that lifestyle. Nah, I, you know I, I, I knew what that lifestyle was about. Once I seen Colors, I was like, yo, these niggas is really doing it. And then once, right, like, yeah, I, like yeah, once Big Uno yeah. told us, like, nigga, y'all niggas banging out there just because. We out here banging for a cause. You know what I'm saying? I, 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 took, it, I took it on the arm, and I kept it moving, and I, I did what I had to do. They thought Boys in the Hood was Hollywood? Bro, they thought it was like niggas was putting chili on it, that niggas really don't just be tripping. Mm-hmm. Like, and that story, the cold shit about it, Bo- police talk about is you a Chris Shaw Mafia, like, asking about gangs and the little kid talking about nigga use the African booty scratcher. I ain't, I ain't from Africa. I'm from Crenshaw Mafia. Like, oh, them dudes, that shit ain't really like that. Come on, this is this is really our culture that was being painted by a nigga who from L.A., but he wasn't even a gang baby. Mm-hmm. So imagine, imagine how my story going to be when I'm doing the exact same shit for my movie, but nigga, I'm on the inside being able to see things from different angles that this square nigga that grew up in the city couldn't even view it. You know what I'm saying? He couldn't understand because he never been through it. Right. Right. Hey, nigga hey, menace to hey. society. Hey, Miss B. Miss B. My fault, y'all. Hey, hey, uh, pushing them when they came to L.A., they got they got a they got a view of that shit. It was March Madness. It was a hood week. We was on Bud Long. We went to the Jays and we were we moving around and the gang unit is on our bumper, right? They bumped the homies up. Police is hot. The homies is thick. Niggas going to jail for violations, all type of shit. They like, damn, the North Carolina Brims is here. Yeah, we know what it is. It's Fruit Town Day. Like, they like, damn, the gang you know that shit. I said, yeah, man, it's real. Like, they know what's going on. Like. They got a glimpse of that shit with him talking about for real, for real. Push told me, he was like, um, when I was like, when niggas first said they was going out there, I was like, yeah, I'm going to go to L.A. for a day and shit. And he just ran that shit down and he was telling me about it. Man, nigga, anytime we, we did hood day shit. We always got venues outside and away from the hood. Right. Like, right. You know, right. you know, you for cannot fact. do it in your hood. They know this, them gang, you know, they study this shit. They know what day it is. You know what I'm saying? They know what's going right. on. Like, that's why I was telling homies, like, they want to come from Carolina. They want to come to LA. I was like, man, we ain't going to be as big on on the drive. 
That old March Madness, man, they gonna come, police gonna come, and it's gonna be fucked they up. They shut that down. Shut but that even worse down. than that, uh, nigga, the ops might wanna roll through just because it's, it's March, March Madness. That's a fact. Like, That's nigga, a fact. Nigga, uh, they know. So, so now, so now, a nigga in a situation like, man, I'm not finna get caught slipping on a hood day. Mm-hmm. Fuck that. And now the police is hemming niggas up and taking gang cars and all kind of other <laughs> shit. Violating niggas and right. uh, man, niggas running, throwing burners. That's why I we get going the fuck to North out of Carolina, here. bro. You, hey, M, you hit it on the nose. And I was like, you know what? Not on my watch. I ain't going to invite all the homies from Carolina and different states to come over here and something happen to them on, on our watch. I feel, I feel guilty. You know what I'm saying? Like, I want them to come experience the hood, but not on hood. Hood week is different. Right. You know what I'm saying? It's totally different. Like, you know what I'm saying? There's gonna be too much like going that. on. Like, I, I, I would hate the fact yeah. somebody, might somebody from a different state fly in and something happened to him. You know what I'm saying? Like, I don't want that on my watch. You know what I'm saying? Oh yeah, yeah. and that it's part. like every day the homies is trying to go up. So we might be a, a bonfire at a Dot Roller Beach, a, a picnic, a yacht party. A uh, uh, performance, of all the the artists in the brim, like nigga, it be it be different shit every day. Yeah, nigga, like, well, niggas don't understand, especially like right now, like we be having Jefferson and Bud on lit, right? Niggas don't understand. Five blocks down, other side of Normandy, that's the Harlem Crips. They right there. They put niggas on. They got new niggas that's trying to make a name for themselves. We might just uh, be bigger. The Dinka time. Parks, not all of them. The Dinka Parks is right there. Right, right. Fact. Like you got, as soon as you cross, so say it's Bud Long, then you got Van Buren, then you got uh, Raymond Kenwood. All of these are little side street. Then it's Norm. Once you you just going up Jefferson. Once you cross heavy out here right now. Yeah, like, once you, you cross run, like, like, you that far, know, like you don't around. need no car. You can run over there though, like. What, we, what I'm saying at the end of the day, from the food to the, to the Harlem, like, you can, that's what I'm saying, you can run over the there. Like, you know that? I live you in the Harlem. You say you live where? It's heavy as fuck around this bitch right now. You say you live where? Them niggas beef with the Mexicans right now. Who you talking about? Uh, the Barlums. You What you say? You live in the Harlem? I live in, I live in the Barlums. On what on street? 30, I live on 37 The Western. It's because of the program I'm in. Oh, nigga, you done lost your rabbit nigga, ass, I got mind. a 30 with a, with a motherfucking bitch, <laughs> and I ain't playing with none of these niggas no, around No, you definitely lost your mind. But these niggas is motherfucking, these niggas. Hey, hey, but him, <laughs> hey look, every time he right pull now. up on me, he like, I'm about to get on the bus. I said, no, you're not. Hey, you know what yeah, I did? Yeah, that's my, that's my scrap right there. Hey, hey, yeah, I got hey. that, I got that motherfucking 30 with the curry in that bitch. I ain't playing with none of these niggas around here. But hey, no, 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 but hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on. You definitely got to respect the story, though, right? All that, right? Niggas get killed with their guns, bro. And one oh, yeah. thing about one thing about them Harlem, they they known as dirt gang because I they are some know. of the craftiest. Oh, yeah, they they are they're the hell, most craftiest yeah. crips that I know. They made their reputation as being crafty. They they should have patented the word. Cause they dirt gang. Listen, we gonna dirt that nigga out. That's where it came from. Hey, yeah. Nigga, hey, yeah. Look, just, every time you put up yeah. on me, right? He like, where you at? See your, see your, see your location. I'm about to catch the bus. I said, no, you know you not. I sent him an Uber to me and back. Like you ain't getting on no buses over there. You crazy? Am I lying? Yo, stress. Where you gonna be at tomorrow? Cause I'm linking up with you tomorrow. Man, I ain't, I'm gonna send you an Uber. You ain't getting on no buses, nigga. Hell no. I ain't pull a tray up. Definitely linking up with you.